plugged my quad in with a standard phone cable, start a clean flight, then make the connection, move it around a bit, and make sure you've got a good connection. If you start the configurator first and plug it in, it'll load automatically. Under the first tab, Setup, you can uh, calibrate the accelerometers, and there's some information there on your battery. The next tab is Ports, and these settings are all default. On the Configuration tab, the quad type was already set. I set the motors to spin on arming and the minimum throttle. If you don't want the motors to spin up on arm, just turn the motor switch back on. Fourth tab is the fail safe. I enabled the fail safe stage 2 and set the uh, times to 3 seconds delay. I also set the drop. Make sure you test these and that they suit you. On the PID tuning tab, I set the horizon leveling to 50%, all else at default. Next is the receiver tab. First thing we'll do is check the ranges of the control sticks. And it's obvious that their typical VSM ranges Now we'll verify the operation of the AUX1 switch, which is our gear switch for arming, and AUX2, which is channel 6 on the Devo 10, typically assigned to the AUX4 control dial, but I have it uh, assigned to the mix switch. Now we'll move on to the modes tab, where we'll Check and set the operation of AUX1. Make sure that the gear switch uh, activates and deactivates the motors. Gear switch 0, deactivated. And gear switch 1, activated. Now we'll look at AUX2, which is channel 6 on the Devo 10 which I have assigned to the three position mix switch for the uh, three main mode. I also set the elevator dual rate switch to activate headless mode when in angle mode only. Mix zero is angle mode. Mix one is set for horizon mode. And mix two is set for acro mode. Now back to mix 1 horizon mode, back to mix 0 and elevator dual rate 1 for headless mode, and back to straight mix 0 for angle mode. Now this page from the manual recognizes the non-standard range from spectrum receivers and suggests that if you can't make the adjustments in the transmitter to uh, reset the RX ranges using the CLI. The actual ranges we're getting is minimum of 980 and maximum of about 1870 or 1880. So we'll input those numbers. Simply type in RX range 0, 980, 1870 and repeat for channels one, two, and three. Enter the save command when complete, and it will reboot. Now recycle the power on your flight controller. And we'll check the ranges, and we can see that they're around 1,000 to 2,000, roughly. They're a little off, but pretty close. But our midpoints are way off. So the manual recommends that we use the sub-trim on the transmitter to set those to 1,500. So we'll do that next. 
First we'll set the roller aileron channel. This one's fairly close. Next we'll do the pitch or elevator. This one's taking a lot of adjustment. Same with the yaw or rudder channel, taking a lot of adjustment. And finally the throttle, which is also taking a lot of adjustment. Now as we check the ranges again, we can see that they're a little bit off, but not too bad. A little jittery in the middle. You can add some dead band there to fix that if you need it. Now we're going to back up our configuration via the CLI uh, tab using the dump command. You can add an identifier. I use the date so that you know which file this is later. I'll highlight the entire file. and control C to copy and open your favorite word processor and paste then save it as a plain text file again under a name that you'll be able to find and identify later before saving you can remove some of the unneeded header information Now you can open it up and make sure that uh, everything looks good. And if you add the save command as the last line, when you go to restore it, you can just paste it and press enter. On the CLI tab, enter the command RX range reset, followed by save and reboot the receiver. And now the receiver ranges are back to the uh, DSM defaults, which I find flies actually very well. This reset will not affect any of your other settings. I think after making changes, it's a good idea to check your accelerometer calibration. One final thing, in order to restore your uh, configuration from one of your CLI dump backups, just go into the word processor, open up the file, copy everything in it, and paste it into the CLI command input area. And don't forget to save.